time to go, I think we're getting close. Derby County suffer another defeat, another home defeat as well. Sheffield Wednesday come from behind and take the victory in the final moments of the game at Pride Park. And ultimately, today's performance was much better. And I'm not going to turn around and deny that. But yet again, we've seen that Paul Warren is unable to battle with changes in game. And yet again, has shown to be tactically unable to compete in the championship. Now, we're going to get into everything in this video, but if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell. Make sure you hit the like button as well and drop a ram in the comments for the sake of engagement. Let me know your thoughts on the performance as well down there. Check out Kitbag in the description. Some massive deals going on over there. So see what type of football gear you can go and pick up. But back to the game. And it's another one for me where we show what we can do for a period of the game and then just capitulate as soon as they scored I said to uh, my granddad who I went to the game with the only the only team that's going to win this game is them we didn't like and I don't think we had a chance after we went to the back five and I think ultimately I think Paul Warren's out, out of his depth I think it's game over and I think it's time that we start to discuss this and I do think it's time that we open our eyes a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's one win in, in nine now, maybe one in ten, which is obviously super disappointing for Derby County. I think it's something like 11 points out of uh, 39 or something like that, I believe I heard on the radio. And at what point do we call it quits? I understand people are going to say anything above relegation is where we des where we should be. And... That's what we're battling for. And I understand that. But I just think we've shown early doors in this season that this squad is capable of competing. I think we've seen today that if we put the chances away, don't change to a back five, we win another game. We get one step closer to safety. And I'm just overall very disappointed with the way this run of fixtures have gone. We've played the likes of Hull City. We've played Plymouth Argyle, Preston North End, Sheffield Wednesday now, Swansea City. All teams that are around us and we've won one game versus Coventry. And it's disappointing. Very, very disappointing the way that uh, this run of fixtures has gone. And if you look at the fixtures we've got coming up, I made a video about it yesterday with the likes of Leeds United. We've got to face them twice. West Brom, Luton Town. Uh, we've got to face Burnley as well. We're missing Ebo Adams for the Leeds game and... I'm just unbelievably disappointed. I don't know how to even spin this performance in a positive way because I do just think it's another step in the direction of what a lot of people have been saying for a long time this season and that is that Paul Warren isn't capable of managing in the championship and I'm not saying that we necessarily, uh, well, I don't know. Should we sack him? I, I honestly don't know. I'm battling against the fact that Paul Warren is a really good person and he's shown that time and time again. He's amazing to hear talk. But ultimately, as we've seen with prior managers, you can give us the talk, but if it ain't proving it on the pitch, we've got a massive problem. And for me, we're sitting here on the 1st of December. It's quarter to six as I'm recording this video. And in four weeks' time, we head into the January window. If we are going to make a change, that change has to happen over the course of December. We have to give that new manager the opportunity to see what squad he has to build. Now, I talk about new manager and the chance to build and the chance to get rid and bring in who he needs. And I do believe that that has to be a talking point. Now, I said it in yesterday's video, nothing is more Derby County than losing today, going and beating Leeds, going and beating Burnley and finding ourselves in a really good position come the end of December. But ultimately, looking at recent performances, I cannot see that happening. I cannot see ourselves being in a position where we could even snatch a point against the likes of Leeds, against the likes of Burnley, because we've just not been good enough in the slightest. And it's difficult when you realise that you just aren't good enough, but it's even more difficult when you realise that a lot of things need to change for this club to be anywhere near stable championship. And I understand people are going to say, we only got promoted six months ago. 
Yeah, we did. We only got promoted six months ago. Ipswich got promoted the year after they got promoted. I'm not saying we were going to, ever going to do an Ipswich. They spent a lot more money than us. But it's a big problem that we just... We seem to have started really, really well. And to be honest with you, when was the last good performance we put in? Overall, over a 90 minutes. When was the last good 90 minutes we put in? And probably got to take you back to Bristol City, maybe. Maybe some people might say, was it Cardiff we won 2-0? Was that QPR, one of them two? So it's interesting. It's a very, very long conversation. And it's one which will be had over the course of the next few weeks. And... Maybe it is time to go. Maybe it is time for Derby County to make a switch. And obviously, I'm not the one making that decision. That falls on David Klaus. But if we end up in the relegation zone during this month, I think there's a possibility that could happen. I believe the gap is five points as we sit here today, which obviously is fine. Five points is fine. But we need more. We need a lot more. From the players on the pitch, we need more. We need better and there's only one way to do that, in my personal opinion. You lot can all have your say down in the comments. You can let me know what your thoughts are, wherever you want. DM me on Twitter, whatever. Um, I'll try and get back to you. But it's one of those for me where it's another disappointing display overall. A drop-off in that second half, which we did not need. And Sheffield Wednesday take the three points and gets them one step away from the relegation zone puts us, in my opinion, one step closer. Now, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that notification bell. Hit the like button as well. Drop a ram in the comments for the sake of engagement. Check out Kitbag in the description. I'll catch you in the next video. Until this one goes in. Oh, shit. I lied. 